Welcome to Roland University's Support Tutorials video series. Today's lesson will be the basic Cut Studio workflow. We've broken down today's lesson into two parts, tracing a raster image for cut vinyl and tracing a raster image for print and cut. Step 1. Tracing a raster image for cut vinyl. Cut Studio is a basic vector graphics program that comes bundled with the GX and SV cutters. Start by opening Roland Cut Studio. You'll notice the default margin area. The white area is cuttable, the margin area is not, for true WYSIWYG graphics production. Under File Cutting Setup, we'll open the driver menu. Inside you can change from millimeters to inches, or rotate 90. We'll input the width and length manually, or you can click Get from Machine. By clicking OK, this will change your graphic area. You now have a personally portioned 8.5 by 11 inch area. Under File Import, we'll bring in our file. It can be JPEG or bitmap in RGB color. And if it's larger than 96 dpi, it will have to be resized, either by clicking on the Properties button or by right-clicking and going to Properties. If the Keep Aspect tab is checked, only one dimension needs to be chosen. To trace our raster image, right-click and go to Image Outline, which can also be found under the Object menu. This will open the Image Outline box. By sliding the tab back and forth, you can change what is to be traced. When ready, click Extract Contour Lines. This will run the algorithm to trace your graphic. When done, separate the vector from the raster. and delete the raster. You now have a vector graphic that's ready to be sent to your cutter. If multiple copies are wanted, Edit Multiple Copy will open up the Multiple Copy window where you can put in horizontal and vertical amounts. The files can now be sent to the cutter. Step 2. Tracing a raster image for print cut now that we've established how to trace for doing single color cut vinyl, let's bring our fish back in. Again, because it's larger than 96 dpi, it will have to be resized. Just like regular cut vinyl, right click, image outline, and now you can see by sliding the image density tab, you can choose what you want to trace. By increasing the density, we've lessened what is to be traced, leaving only the eyes and the outside. To get rid of the interior traces, right click and break polyline and you can either click on or sweep select the elements you don't want. To get rid of the elements you don't want simply click the delete key or right click and delete. When tracing a raster image resolution is a problem. Oftentimes you'll have an area in between which won't compensate for the bleed. By going to object offset you can now add a line to the inside or the outside of the currently selected vector. We'll go to the inside, which you'll notice compensates for the area that wasn't traced very well. This other line can now be deleted. You now have a perfectly traced contour cuttable decal. For multiple copies, under Edit Multiple Copy, we can choose the spacing in between each copy, which will help us maximize our material usage. And to set up our printer, choose Print and Cut from the File menu. By choosing Print and Cut, Cut Studio will automatically assign crop marks. Under the Printing Setup window, by clicking Fit into Shared Area, we will now align our printable and our cuttable areas. Choose your printer for the appropriate material. Since we're using a letter size, it defaults to 8.5 by 11, which would make our cuttable area identical. After printing to the printer, you can now output to the cutter. This concludes our support tutorial for today. Thank you for joining us.